And then I also, one thing I emphasize quite heavily is in the example of students that you you could be a great writer and I'm sure that you are if you love it and you've been doing it a while and it's your interest. But you writing you writing something to be read in a in a book is very different to you writing something to be recorded by a voiceover and then listened to. That should that should instigate quite a, a big change in your mentality about the way that you approach the script. Because there are a lot of things that you wouldn't have to consider when you are writing for a book. For example, you can write completely at your own pace because the reader will have full control over the time that they take to to read the words and consume them. You don't have that luxury with AD. It has to be read in a specific amount of time and it has to be read naturally. And so one thing that's always been really important to me is that voiceovers start expressive and engaging when they read AD rather than monotonous. And so training a writer to slow down their pace within the time constraints that they have is vitally important. I hardly ever have any concerns that the actual writing itself will will not be good. I always have faith in the people that I hire and trust that they will do a really good job with the writing. But handling the technical matters which they won't have had to deal with before is something that has to be emphasized.